Hi, Jam. Welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your quick reading. All right, so first of all, I did just I did just do an all signs. What to expect for the rest of um, December. If you're interested in that, the video's on my channel. The timestamps will be in the comment section. All right, so let's get started, Jim. Give me a prediction for Gemini, please. Give me a prediction for Gemini. All of these are predictions. So even if you go watch, sorry, the table's wobbly. I can't, I can't help that. Even if you go watch your other signs in your chart, know that everything's a prediction. It's not supposed to be happening right now. This could be happening soon, okay? So let's see what comes out. Seven of Wands, okay, what else? Okay, whatever you've been praying for is coming towards you. If this is a relationship, a stable relationship, if this is a provider, some of you guys have been um, praying for um, a provider to come into your life for your romantic partner. Also, if you've been praying to be stable and have lots of money, it's coming in for you. The King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. All right, what else with the Seven of Wands? Page of Cups. What else? Whoa. Ooh, okay. Okay, so Seven of Wands, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups. You stayed down, you stayed loyal. You also didn't involve yourself with any bullshit. You know when some people can be lonely sometimes? We've all done this, okay? Um, where it's like you're lonely and you really just want someone really good to come in, but you waste your time with people who are a waste of time, basically. Like, you know you have no future with these people, but you keep dealing with them. You keep seeing them, you keep sleeping with them, but you know that they're not your your person. You're not doing that, Gemini. You're actually just staying down and you're praying, you're meditating, you're asking for what you truly want and you're not align, aligning yourself with things or people that you don't want. Because of that, the Page of Cups, Ace of Cups, you are gonna get exactly what you want. Let's clarify this. I'm happy that this is a positive reading because most of the readings today have been kind of, you know, nonsense. I gotta be honest and I just hate I hate doing nonsense readings, but I know that they come out because they need to come out. You know what I'm saying? But yours is actually pretty, pretty good. I like this message. So let's see. What's the Seven of Wands? Four of Swords. Yep. So you just separated yourself. You weren't dealing with anyone that you weren't interested in. You didn't waste your time. You're just trying to align yourself or make sure that you're aligned to get what, exactly what you want and not... Because, you know, when we deal with people that we don't want, yes, spirit knows that we don't want this person, but you're also confusing them. It's kind of like leading spirit on to believe that you're okay with this person who's not within your, you know, light. So I feel like you haven't been doing that, and that's why you're going to get blessed here. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. You've been staying single and staying true to yourself, focusing on your goals, um, just being true to yourself and just... Um, just doing things to distract yourself day to day or just focusing on your finances, your family, your goals, your home life, okay? I hear that you guys have been doing a lot of remodeling in your home life, okay? Or you're going to be just little things to distract yourself while you're waiting for this lover to come in. You do want love, but you're not thirsty, okay? <laughs> What's the four of swords, please? Okay, the eight of wands in reverse. Interesting. Why the Eight of Wands in reverse? Maybe you feel like Spirit hasn't been hearing you, but you've been okay with that. The Sun card, okay? So you're waiting for your happiness and you're like, damn, I keep praying, but Spirit's not really hearing me out or I don't see any signs that this love is coming in. Okay, it could be, you know, when you get signs, it means you're on the right path. Maybe your your package was here all the, all the, the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Like you're out here looking for signs, but Spirit's like, you have no idea this person is about to walk into your door. Or maybe you weren't paying attention to the right signs. What's the Nine of Pentacles? Eight of Cups. So you walked away from something that was no good for you. I'm happy about that for you. The Two of Wands. And you're just waiting for something to come in for you. The Two of Wands. You're waiting for something, this um, blessing or what you asked for, what you manifested to come in. Patiently, okay? What's the Page of Cups? Hierophant, okay? Huh. All right, there will be a new lover that comes and approaches you. This could be a water sign here with the Page of Cups. It doesn't have to be a water sign. Um, it could also be, we have lots of um, fire signs here too. But it's like, whoever this person is, they're going to, okay, you'll know this is your person because they will tell you that they've been in a commitment before and things ended, okay? What happened in this commitment with this person? This is not your new love reading, but whatever. Ace of Cups, okay, so this was, they were, okay, hmm.
Amber. You have a businessman or a businesswoman coming towards you. You could have someone that's older coming towards you, Gemini. You could also have an Aries coming towards you. Um, someone's going to tell you about a serious relationship they had in the past. Is this person over it? Are they over it? This is not your... Okay, the lover's card is here, huh? This is interesting. All right, so that's your energy here as well. Okay, let me tell you something. This is weird, but I'm going to tell you something. You know how, like, sometimes spirit will send you the same signs over and over again, even when you're like, please don't send me another one of them? It's kind of like this happened to your person. So your person could have been like, um, you know, the last person I dealt with was a Gemini. They could tell you that. They could also tell you that they were very much in love with this person as well. Three of Cups is here. There was a third party that ended that. Okay. Now they're moving on to new. Your person could have been married before too. And maybe like they'll tell you that their spouse cheated on them. Okay. Huh. What else? The nine of wands. Okay. It's been a while since this person started dating again after that, that ending because they felt really rejected or left out in the cold by their ex. Okay. But they took the time out. It's not like somebody's using you as their rebound. They took time, the nine of wands to, you know, reflect on the situation, to heal from the situation before approaching you. So your person has been there before where they've been in a heavy commitment. So I don't think, I feel like when they're approaching you, they're ready for it. They're healed. I also feel like they know how to treat someone because they've been in a, um, a heavy commitment. I think you're looking for a heavy commitment. Gemini, I don't know. What's the Ace of Cups here? All right, so Ace of Cups is popping out again. So someone knows how to love. Okay, what is this? The Queen of Pentacles. So this is you, Gemini, if you're the feminine energy. I mean, even if you're not the feminine energy, this could be you. It looks like you're not really like looking for love when this comes in, okay? I have to be honest, but that's the best energy to be in looks like you're more into your finances and your stability even your children if you have children but this love is going to hit you yeah the four of wands is here you're gonna be very happy gemini i feel like you deserve this yep here we go the judgment card could be an aries that you're going to be de um, dealing with or dating doesn't have to be but this is like your chance the spirit's giving you this chance of love of a good love because you're ready for it what else is here All right, the moon card could be a Cancer or a Pisces coming towards you. I feel like you have no idea that this is coming for you. Even when you're watching this reading, you don't believe it. And that's okay. I'm not here to convince you. Okay. What's the moon card? The Ace of Wands. This is coming in um, nonetheless. Be careful too with the Ace of Wands, the moon card, not to be too skeptical when this person comes in. Give them a chance to get to know them. You know, like don't be overly skeptical unless someone gives you a reason to be skeptical. Just allow this person... Allow this person to come in and allow yourself to date them, okay? Some of you guys have a fire sign coming in, okay? You have the, we have Leo. We also have Sagittarius here. We have Queen of Wands, Six of um, Wands, Eight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. So you will be stuck on this person. And I feel like you guys will be in a long-term relationship. The Eight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, let's get your last words because I got to go. I The next readings I do, guys, um, on here will be the new love reading so if you're interested in new love i will be doing that for you guys and i will be doing extendeds for each new love to just see what the relationship will look like further but that's when i get back in the states which will be soon okay all right so let's get your last words see what time is it last words for gem please last words for gemini Damn, I'm just so tired of these cards falling. It's just kind of annoying. <laughs> what is this? Ooh, wow. Okay, okay. Anything else? Okay. I wasn't expecting it to go this far. Hello? I'm telling you, when you first see this person, you'll be very skeptical, but please don't act it. You can think it all day, but give this person a chance. You're tired of the drama for sure. All right, threesome. Remember I said there was a third party with this person? Their ex was like, put them in a third party. Your ex could have put you in a third party as well, but I de definitely felt that with this person, okay? I know you will hurt me. This is how you may feel very skeptical. Okay, your new person could have um, a high status in society or they could be a celebrity, okay? They could be, um, they could work in law enforcement. Okay, so, hmm. 
I'm not only getting police officer, I am getting lawyer, okay? What else is here? Okay, I don't like your friends slash family. That's interesting. Okay, so someone may not be really close with their family and they may have only a little bit of friends. I'm getting that's you, Gemini. <laughs> but it could be your person if it's not you. You also got insecure here. You may be a little insecure when you meet this person because they are so high status or vice versa. They may feel this way about you. Um, we have booty call, okay? <laughs> you and this person may meet up at weird times of the night to hang out and it may be because someone works a lot. It's not because someone's trying to hide you. All right, what else do we have here? Untouchable is here, okay? I'm single is here as well. So you are in your single energy. We have plotting, oh. Plotting against you is here. Okay, so I, <laughs> sorry about my mom. Um, oh, okay. Um, it, look, in, look in here. It's gonna be in that, that brown bag. It should be under my stuff. Yes. Okay, so anyway. Plotting against you. So this could be a very skeptical energy where it's, it's a seven of swords for sure, where someone may come off very shady, very sneaky. It may be because someone is like meeting with you at weird hours of the night or I don't know. You, I don't feel like you're going to trust this person at first, but I feel like this could be the person for you. But we're going to have to see, okay? You could be a June Gemini. You could be dealing with a June Cancer coming in for you. All right, Gemini. Um, I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye-bye.